height of its powers, this great empire was bigger than the Aztecs and the Mayans. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the most fascinating and surprising facts about the Incan Empire, which was the largest empire in the history of the Americas before the arrival of Christopher Columbus. Let me tell you the reason why the Incas flourished. Number 5. Incas were the first to cultivate the Irish potato. The potato is typically associated with the Irish, because potatoes were a major source of food for the Irish, especially during the winter. What you may not know, however, is that the first people to cultivate the potato were the Incas in Peru, way back in roughly 8000 BC. The Inca were very gifted farmers, especially considering the fact that they lived on mountainous terrain. They constructed complex networks of ditches to irrigate fields and terraced mountain slopes to prevent soil erosion. Sometime in the mid-16th century, sailors brought the potato back to Spain, and from there, its cultivation spread across the continent. Number 4. They were some of the greatest surgeons of the Middle Ages. It's hard to imagine 15th century brain surgery, but according to recent research, the Incas were actually very successful at performing trepanation. Trepanation was initially a form of surgery for fractured skulls. But later on, it was used in rituals to allow malignancy or diseases to escape. They typically used it on men who had been injured in combat. Survival rates for the surgery were around 90%, and studies have shown that there was a very low infection rate. Unfortunately for patients, there was no anesthesia, so surgeons often used beer and tobacco to help alleviate some of the pain. In fact, to this day, alcohol and cigarettes remain popular ways to self-medicate pain. Bears good. People are crazy. Number 3. The Inca Empire united a hundred different ethnic groups. Pachacuti is the name that he took, and it means he who overturns space and time. When Pachacuti formed the Inca Empire in the mid-15th century, he needed to come up with a system to become an effective ruler. This wasn't easy, as the area that composed the empire consisted of over 12 million people from a hundred different ethnic groups. He did so by creating a very structured social system. The government would mandate a number of workdays for different professions, such as builders and farmers, and provided the people with food and clothing. The Inca also used a system of roadways, covering over 15,000 miles to keep the empire connected. Number 2. They had no written language Unlike the Aztecs or Mayans, the Incas did not have a written language. Instead, they spoke Quechua, an incredibly diverse language that could be spoken by everyone within the empire. <laughs> Instead of writing, they used a quipu, a device of their own invention. This device consisted of cords of different colors and lengths. The Incas would then use knots to record important dates or events. According to the Spanish, the Incas would also use oral language, art, and songs to commemorate specific events and maintain historical records. Once the Spanish conquered the Incas, however, they immediately applied the Roman alphabet to the language. Number 1. The dead played a role in everyday life. Like many Mesoamerican empires, the Incas viewed their emperors as earthly gods. As such, it was believed that the emperor had absolute power and was essentially a dictator. I am one hungry king of the world. This belief did not change once the emperor was dead. Like many other ancient Andean cultures, the Inca believed that the mummified remains of rulers were sacred, and they were regularly removed from their tombs to participate in ceremonies, be paraded around town, and be offered food and drink. We're not sure if any of them ever said yes. Some Andean cultures even carried mummified rulers into battle. They toppled him from his litter, and once they had that, then the Chanka submitted. Those people would have been too terrified to continue fighting once their revered mummified ancestor had been captured. So how would you feel about worshipping your grandfather's mummified body? Well, it's not as dead as we would have hoped. And if we replaced written language with a series of knotted cords, do you think it would improve YouTube comments? For more surgically precise top 10s and mummified top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. Sorry!